Welcome back, everyone, as we continue our study in the book of Revelation. Just a little parenthesis, a little extra um, understanding as we continue with our study of this book. And that is, in a sense, we must understand the difference between the old Jerusalem and Babylon and how they relate to each other within Father's revelation of Jesus. Now, we have already stated very clearly that Babylon represents the allure of this world and it, she might make use of the ecclesiastical system or not. And the best way to explain this is when we look at uh, 1 John, he says that the love of this world is contained in the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. Now, the pride of life refers to our achievements and our possessions. Within that bracket, we can see that those who want to be fruitful will look at that as a way to actually be reconciled with God. And that's where the law comes in. So in a sense, it's the older brother who's trying to please the father and he's finding it difficult because of the law and that is the old Jerusalem the old covenant which should point us to the new covenant so in a very real sense spiritually we see that the first two refers to the younger son who goes off and we must understand that Babylon is actually overshadowing both she is the total allure of this world she is representing the lust of the eye the lust of the flesh and the pride of life so we can see that the Lord used the law within that allure to actually point people to the new covenant of grace in Christ. So that is why it becomes less practically important to identify the great city per se. What we do know is if it's the old Jerusalem, we know for sure that it was God who split the old covenant he destroyed it in that sense it makes sense that it's the old Jerusalem but in another sense it is the whole world that went to pot um, after that the church was established because everyone was confronted with three choices either to remain under the governance of the enemy or to come out as the beast so to speak serving self or to actually accept the Lamb and to follow Him. So this is all. I just wanted to bring a bit of clarification between Babylon, who will contain within herself the pride of life, which refers to uh, achievements and possessions. And in other words, that is where the law, the old law, would be in complete operation. And that, I hope, will clarify things a bit better as we go on in this study. Blessings.